Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, chalk up uh, another nice day. Temperatures that topped out in the upper 70s to around 80. We're looking at uh, Easton's Beach in Newport. You see the flag, a little sea breeze, so it is uh, keeping the coast uh, just a smidge cooler. But high temps today, once again, uh, upper 70s to lower 80s, 80 in Providence, 80 Smithfield, westerly making it to 80 in Newport at 75. The average high is about 76, 77 degrees, so uh, not too bad. We were going back and forth, essentially, between clouds and sunshine. Oakland Beach and Warwick now coming in with some sunshine and a temperature at 79. So a nice evening and no weather issues will stay. Uh, well, clouds will increase later on, but overall not too bad. Humidity starts to increase uh, a little bit over the next couple of days, starting on uh, Wednesday and especially on Thursday. Next chance for any uh, scattered showers uh, would come up on uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Perhaps some downpours with the approach of a cold front. I'm thinking the morning hours of Thursday it should be dry, but then later in the afternoon towards evening, uh, the chance for some scattered showers. And we'll take a look at the uh, satellite and radar composite, and it's fairly quiet. You've got a few fair weather clouds to our north, but uh, mainly sunny right now. We've been going back and forth between clouds and sunshine, but quiet across New England. And what's left of once tropical storm crystal ball, still an impressive circulation of uh, downpours, area of low pressure. Structure wise, it's no longer a tropical storm, but that continues uh, to track pretty much due north through the upper Midwest and into the Great Lakes. So that uh, direct moisture impact here is unlikely. It's pretty rare for the remnants of a tropical system to track this far uh, to the west. And, and we've been tracking these storms, you know, historically to over 100 years. And to have remnants of a storm this far west in the United States is actually pretty rare. And what's left of that, the moisture will continue to track through the Great Lakes. We should do okay here in uh, southern New England. Got another cloud-sun mixture, but you'll notice the humidity. It should be uh, a little higher for tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Let me walk you through it uh, hour by hour, starting off this evening. It's fairly quiet, 7 o'clock, temperatures that are in uh, the upper 70s. And during the overnight, the increasing clouds and temperatures not quite as cool as the last couple of nights. So by 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, we're starting off in the uh, low to mid 60s and then during the afternoon it's more of a cloud sun mixture and temperatures we're thinking uh, mid to upper 70s for daytime highs by six o'clock in the evening mostly cloudy i think the beaches by late day and early evening will start to see some fog so i think any fog issues at the coastline tomorrow should wait until later in the afternoon and then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock enough moisture or humidity in the air for a few isolated showers or some sprinkles so for tomorrow morning uh, partly sunny skies by uh, 11 o'clock in the morning we're at 77 and then during the afternoon hours uh, generally mid to upper 70s a cloud sun mixture tending towards extra clouds as you get towards uh, the end of the day and into the early evening beaches I don't think it's a deep blue sky but rather clouds and hazy sun I do expect some fog though by late afternoon and this time of year when you get high humidity passing over cool water that tends to be the net result safe sun time uh, coming in at uh, 25 minutes all right seven day forecast uh, showing uh, that cloud sun mixture uh, coming up for your Wednesday 77 scattered showers for Thursday 75 we're back to partly sunny warm weather on Friday 81 uh, decent on Saturday 79 the chance of a passing shower on Sunday cooler and 74 Mike and Shannon